Hey bro, um, just wanted to make this video to send to you, um, to tell you a few things, um, because, um, I'm not exactly sure where to start with this, but, um, I'll just start. I know that, okay, so, we know that we, we have, um, we can have a relationship with God, we can find out what He says, we can look to His Word and find out what His Word says for, uh, proper clarification, um, etc. But we also have what he reveals to us, right? Um, so, you know, just like, like we always say, right? Check with God. See what, what does God say about this? So, um, that's what I wanted to say. I wanted to say that. And I wanted to say that, um, with that being said, that this is what God has said to me. And, um, I've also, I'm, so I've noticed that like, one of the things that the enemy tries to do is he definitely tries to cause problems. Um, of course he tries to cause problems, but he especially tries to cause problems in this area because he wants everyone confused, right? He wants everybody questioning everything. And, um, you know, one thing I've noticed too is that, you know, it's like when someone, when God says something to someone and it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't gel with everyone else around them. Um, you know, they don't, they don't always respect what that person says, or they don't always believe, um, with that person. They don't always believe what that person is saying. But, um, I've been, um, I can't remember if I told you, but I've been getting together with one of my friends who's, um, she's anointed and she does have, I'm not saying she's super special, of course she is, but she, um, she's been given the, she has a, a gift of, a gift of prophetic speech, and, um, just been getting together with her and talking and stuff, and it's really helped kind of, like, clear up a lot of that stuff in me, and help really, like, it's helped me identify some of the things that God's been saying to me, things that I know to be true, things that he's taught me, things that I've learned from, from him, and, um, so it's really helped sharpen me up a bit, and that's why I wanted to kind of come forward with this message, and, um, kind of like, um, expand on what I said already in the message, and I wanted to send this video to you because I didn't want to, um, say too much in the wrong place, and it, it expand and blow up and all this stuff, so, um, but yeah, um, God has shown me that, he showed, he showed me, um, and he's got me, he's got me studying Revelation, he's got me studying Revelation right now, and, um, the prophetic books, and, um, the se we're approaching a new season, the season is kind of, it's, it's already underway, but, um, it's not bad, um, and that's the thing that people don't quite understand right now, is they think it's really, really bad, and it's not, it just depends, um, the thing is, is that when, um, when we're going through hard times, when the world is in hard times, it's going to be hell on earth for some, and it's not going to be for others. And what I mean by that is that there's a time where things are going to be miserable for those non-believers, for the people who don't have God in their lives. It's just like, it's just like say like a th th think of like a storm. Like okay, there's a there's a tornado. There's going to be the people who got into the shelter and are safe because they know they're safe, right? They're in the shelter. They know they're safe. And what happens to them? They're safe. They don't have to. They don't have to worry about. They don't have to run from a tornado. But then there's going to be the other people who aren't running from the tornado, and um, there are the ones that aren't going to that aren't in the shelter, and they're gonna they're gonna have to run. And so that's what I'm saying. Um, there's gonna be there's gonna be tough times for sure. But the thing is, and this is what God is saying. God is saying that he doesn't want his believers to be scared. He doesn't want his children to be scared. He wants them to look to him and he wants them to feel safe. He wants them to feel safe in his presence. He wants them to 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 take up the shield of faith and realize that with him all things are possible. And with him um you know just because it seems like it's going to be this doom and gloom and perilous time, it may be a perilous time. But just because it's a perilous time doesn't mean we have to suffer the perilous time. Um, and I wanted to back that up with my 
my personal testimony of something that I've been through. Um, this is ha this happened to me when the COVID pandemic, 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 when it first started um, last year. So that was right around the time I made the turn to get back with God. I got in the airplane just before it took off, if that makes sense. I turned to him, and what happened because I turned to him was he not only saved me from my situation like he does, but he, he kept me under the shadow of his wing. He protected me from the things that the world was suffering from. I mean, everybody was freaking out about shortages of this, shortages of that. Do we have enough toilet paper? All of this stuff. And even when I was in, even when I was still in the place that I was leaving, um, like I was in a bad situation and I was on my way out. I was with people who were not, were not following God. Um, and people who would have been pretty much, you know, decimated as far as suffering from the things going on because I was with them. I know this to be true because I was with them not only was I taken care of they were taken care of because I was with them and that happens um, with God's people when they're wherever they are people around them are protected and kept safe because of their obedience and their favor from God it rubs off on other people it's like we have this 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 uh, perimeter around us that affects other people but anyway, so I left out of that situation. I got into a better situation, a safer situ situation. Came back home and um, I stayed close with God. And what happened was, just because I decided to follow him and actually follow him, what he did was, he protected me. He protected even the people I knew who got sick. They got well. They got well and they got healed. They were perfectly fine. Um, there was some uncertainty and there was some question marks about things as a whole but he kept me safe he kept me employed he kept me fed he kept me in a place where I didn't have to wear a mask at my job like there were so many things he did for me um, because I chose to follow him in the midst of the storm and I'm I'm serious like I was in a bubble okay I was in a bubble I was protected my whole life where I was was completely protected and everything else in the world was, I was seeing everything everyone was going through. And I was experiencing it secondhand because, because I wasn't experiencing it, you know. I wasn't having to go through it. I was seeing it in other people's lives, but not in my life. And I know why. The reason why was because I was following God's commandments and he was rewarding me. But um, I just wanted to say that that's the way it works. If we follow his commandments... He protects us. He keeps us safe. And um, I also want to, to spot out something. And um, I pray that you don't take any of this personally or the wrong way. Because um, just like you've been sharing some things with me, some heavy truths, um, you know, and you encourage me to pray about it, see what the Lord says about it. That's what I want to say to you about this stuff as well. But I just want to, um, I kind of want to usher in a new, um, a new resolve, right? Because... One of the things we need most of all in this day and age is strength and comfort and safety and security that we can find in the Lord. And we can find that in the Lord. And um, so what I wanted to say next is something I just, I don't want you to take it personal. But um, I wanted to say to you that this whole thing about um, we have to suffer is not true. It's a lie. People have suffered in the past. People have suffered for the sake of the things we have. Exactly. Exactly they have. But the thing is, is we don't have to. And what I mean is, just because Jesus said, take up your cross and follow me, does not mean that we need to get up and be martyrs. It doesn't mean that we need to get up and die. What it means is, follow him. Do what he says to do. But what I'm trying to say is there is a, um, I'm seeing two paths here. So there's like, let's say level one, you take up your cross and follow him. You endure the things of the world. You endure to the end, right? But let's just say this, say there's level two, and this is where I've been. Level two is, is, you know, is one of the requirements I think is quick, complete obedience. Whatever God says, do it. 
do it, do it without hesitation, without question, do it and obey him, follow him, obey him. But what happens is he starts telling you to do things that take faith. Things that he says, hey, I need you to quit your job. And you're like, what? That's crazy. I can't do that, Lord. But if you do it, he takes you to somewhere you couldn't have gotten to before on your own. Um, what I'm trying to say is he takes us places that we can't get to on our own. And when we obey him, it makes huge differences and huge changes. And what I'm saying is, I'm not saying we won't suffer because, sure, we I'll give it to you. We may suffer from time to time, right, in different ways. But what I'm saying is... We are not meant to live down here, right? Just like the different kingdoms. It's up to you. Where do you want to be, right? But I'm saying it's not it's not mandatory, right? It's not mandatory to settle for the lowest kingdom. That's not mandatory, is it? No, we have a choice. So what we can do is obey God, do what he says, follow his commandments, listen to his voice, listen to what he says, even when it doesn't make sense, and heed what he is saying. And sometimes he says something that doesn't make sense compared to the world. Usually the things that God say, usually the things that God says are in, are in um, contrast to what the world is saying. They're usually the opposite of what the world says. What's the world saying right now? The world's saying, the world's saying, um, it's basically saying this without saying it. It's saying freak out, lose your mind, lose your mind, lose your mind. We're going to get, we're, we're about to hit, we are, it's saying, we are about to get hit so hard. We are about to go through hell. We are about to go through desolation. That's what the world is saying. But, um, again, who do we listen to? That's what we need to make the decision on. Who are we listening to? Are we listening to the voice of the world? Or are we listening to the voice of the Lord? The Lord won't lie to us, but I'm telling you, from getting to know Him closer and spending more time with Him, and I know you know this is true about him. He takes care of his sheep. He leaves the 99 to find that one. And what I'm saying is, yeah, there might be hard times, but it's not necessarily necessary for us to go through hard times. He gives us challenges and he makes us stronger. But what I'm trying to say is if you stick with him, he will take care of you. And that, that's, that's, that's pretty much it, man. Um, so I just wanted to share that with you, and um, I want to encourage you to, um, you know, pray about that. But really listen, really listen to what God is saying. And I'm not saying that you're not, but really listen to what He's saying. And I really encourage you to look at this situation and the the forecast forecast ahead in a different light, because um, God has a really good plan for us. And um, what I have experienced for sure. Is that it is better than we could have thought it is so much better than what we could have thought I have lived that I've experienced that I thought it couldn't get any better than this and then it gets better and it, it's amazing it's what he does he takes us from glory to glory so pandemic or not shortages or not famine or not death disease or not he takes us from glory to glory you know it doesn't say he takes us from glory to death to glory he takes us from glory to glory. So, just wanted to say that, man.